you are welcome once again to today's ministration as we continue our October devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today is the sixth day and tomorrow is the celebration of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, Our Lady of the Rosary. So it's all about rosary and rosary and rosary this season. So I welcome everyone online today. Come aboard, let somebody be aware. Communicate to that person, invite that your friend, that Father Alfred is here online. We are ready to begin the prayer of the Most Holy Rosary. Amen. And after the prayer, we will, go, we will continue with our, our teaching on the importance, the reasons why you must have true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. So I welcome you to today's um, Rosary time with Father Alfred in this October devotion that is going on right now. I want to believe that somebody have prayed this Rosary today. Aha! If you have prayed your rosary today, just let me see somebody. Have you prayed your rosary today? Like I told you before, you don't just wait for online rosary before you pray your rosary. So I believe you must have prayed your rosary before coming on online today. So we are going to pray our rosary now together. It's just uh, an added the rosary to what I believe you must have done before. Frank Osazua, I guess you have prayed your rosary today. Or are you just waiting for this um, platform to join to pray your rosary? <laughs> yes, I pray my rosary as soon as I wake up from my sleep, I pray my rosary. But you know what? Tomorrow is rosary day because Tomorrow is seventh, and it is Our Lady of the Rosary. Our Lady of the Rosary. Tomorrow is Rosary, morning, afternoon, evening. I will come online early in the morning. I will come online in the afternoon. I will come online in the evening. Is, tomorrow is just Rosary. Amen. So I'm encouraging you to pray your Rosary like never before tomorrow, because tomorrow is the our Feast of Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. There are benefits in praying the rosary. There are blessings in praying the rosary. There are advantages, numerous of them, that you can get, that you can gain when you pray the rosary. So pray your rosary often and encourage people around you to also pray their rosary. Amen. So, we are going to begin right now without wasting much time. Because of our teachings of today, we are going to take just five decades of the rosary. But for tomorrow, is the entire 20 decades. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow is the 20 decades of the rosary. From joyful, sorrowful, glorious, and luminous. I uh, may not be having teaching tomorrow. Tomorrow is just rosary and rosary and rosary. Amen. So, connect yourself to this rosary we are about to pray. Connect members of your family. Connect your husband. Connect your wife. Uh, connect your friends. Connect your children. Just connect everyone. And I know that surely they will be blessed. Amen. So, let's begin the rosary right now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered that Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, descended into hell, taught the rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven. Seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there shall come to judge, the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are mostly in need of your mercy. The five sorrowful mysteries. First, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most needed of your mercy. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation that deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who are mostly in need of your mess. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, so we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are mostly in need of your mercy. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and bless the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in the of your mercy. Hey, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hey, our life, our sweetness, and our hope, to you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to you do we send up our sight, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resur resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal life, Grant and beseech thee that, meditating upon these mysteries, in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May your divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John the Evangelist, pray for us. Saint Louis Maria de Montfort, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ heals, Christ graciously heals, God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, Pray for us, Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us, Mother Inviolate. Pray for us, Mother Undefied. Pray for us, Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us, Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us, Mother of Good. Pray for us, Mother of our, of our Creator. Pray for us, Mother of our Savior. 
Pray for us, Mother of Mercy. Pray for us, Virgin Most Prudent. Pray for us, Virgin Most Venerable. Pray for us, Virgin Most Renowned. Pray for us, Virgin Most Powerful. Pray for us, Virgin Most Merciful. Pray for us, Virgin Most Faithful. Pray for us, Mirror of Justice. Pray for us, Seat of Wisdom. Pray for us, Cause of our Joy. Pray for us, Spiritual Vessel. Pray for us, Vessel of Honor. Pray for us, Singular Vessel of Devotion. Pray for us, Mystic Arrows. Pray for us, Tower of David. Pray for us, Tower of Ivory. Pray for us, House of Gold. Pray for us, Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us, Gates of Heaven. Pray for us, the Morning Star. Pray for us, Health of the Sick. Pray for us, Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us, Solace of Migrants. Pray for us, Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us, Help of Christians. Pray for us, Queen of Angels. Pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us, Queen of Prophets. Pray for us, Queen of Apostles. Pray for us, Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us, Queen of Confessors. Pray for us, Queen of Virgins. Pray for us, Queen of all saints. Pray for us, Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us, Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us, Queen of Families. Pray for us, Queen of Peace. Pray for us, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Lord, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord our God, that we, your servant, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the blessed Mary, ever virgin, we may be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joy of everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May your divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. Our Lady of the Rosary, Pray for us. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Wow, we just have our roses, our rosary prayed. And I want to believe somebody has been blessed today through the recitation of this our holy rosary. Amen. So I want to encourage you to continue to uh, pray your rosary. Don't wait. Um, don't wait to be um, pressurized. No. The rosary should come from within you as a devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. So that is what we are doing this month. We are having a devotion to the Blessed Virgin Virgin Mary, and uh, since um, yesterday, you know, the reasons why we should have true devotion to Mary, what devotion to Mary, what are the reasons, what are the reasons, and indeed, we have been sharing, we have been sharing the reasons, and the first reason we shared yesterday was that when you have true devotion to Mary, it will establish you into a relationship with the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 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 That is a good one. So, 
that is a good one. That is a remarkable one. Amen. So, the very first point we raise is that when you have true devotion to Mary, when you are devoted to Mary, what are the benefits? And the very first point we uh, looked at yesterday is that true devotion to Mary, we establish you into a relationship. It was as a result of the relationship that the wedding of Cana was well blessed. The couple of that wedding invited Mary and Mary went to that wedding. The couple invited Jesus and Jesus went to that wedding. Their going to that wedding was as a result of a relationship. If you have a relationship with somebody, you start to to benefit from that person and so having a devotion to the blessed virgin mary we establish you into a relationship with her so you will benefit more from those who don't really have um, a relationship you will benefit more you will benefit more see if you are doing something special for example now and you invite somebody from where you are right now the person because because maybe you don't have a relationship the person may not come because you don't have a relationship as such but the person you have a relationship can travel from another country to attend your ceremony meanwhile the person you are the, the person you just invited who lives close to you did not honor that invitation because you don't have but the person you have a relationship with can travel from another country just to attend your ceremony. So relationship is what we must build. And you build a relationship when you are devoted to a cause. So when you have true devotion to Mary, you are building a relationship. The day you will call on Mary, of course she will answer you because you have a true de you have a relationship with her. So when the when the wedding, when the couple, the wedding at chapter 2, when they invited Mary, Mary attended the wedding. It was based on relationship. So, our first point yesterday was that when you have true devotion to Mary, it will establish you into a relationship. The second point is that it will lead to your full knowledge of Jesus. Full knowledge of Jesus. Because every devotion we have with Mary we always lead devotion we have, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, whatever devotion we have, it will always lead to, to Jesus. And as I said yesterday, uh, our October devotion, for example, our October devotion, for example, may be Miriam-centered or Mary-centered. But if you examine it very well and meditate on what we are doing you are seeing that it is also very Christocentric as in it is directing us to Jesus because when we begin to pray the rosary and meditate on the mysteries it is the mystery of the life of Jesus that we are meditating upon so this devotion may be Marian but inside it of it it leads us to Jesus so devotion to Mary when you have true devotion to Mary, it will lead you to Jesus. It always leads to Jesus. Don't forget, when Mary uh, uh, stood in the gap for the couple of the wedding of, at Cana, she directed every one of the attendants to uh, do what Jesus said. He said, do whatever my son tells you. Mary don't direct attention to herself. Mary don't direct attention to herself. Brother, she always direct attention to the Son. So when you come to Mary, Mary will always direct you to Jesus. And if you want to know Jesus much more better, Mary stands the very chance to teach you, to help you, to show you how the Son ought to be loved, how the Son ought to be served. So when you have true devotion to Mary, what are the benefits? The second point, it will lead to full knowledge of Jesus. Yes, full knowledge of Jesus. The Marian devotion may be 
Miriam in, nat in nature, but it is strongly Christocentric. It points us to Christ. It points everyone to Christ. It points everyone to Christ. When we meditate on the rosary, it is all about the life of Jesus, Christocentric life of Jesus that we meditate upon. And the third point we looked at yesterday was that it will enhance your spiritual life. Your there is no better way our spiritual life can be well enhanced than when we begin to have devotion to Mary. Your spiritual life will receive a boost. The frequency of your spiritual life will be high. The frequency of your spiritual life will become active. You can only get that when you have true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. It will enhance your spiritual life. And what kind of life? I make, uh, I make a strong emphasis. What kind of life? In rooted in meditations on the mystery of Jesus. Wow! That is the kind of life. A life of meditations on the mystery of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What is the fourth point we looked at yesterday? We said when you have true devotion to Mary, it will lead to um, it will lead to the practice of virtues. The practice of virtue. Hallelujah. It will lead to the practice of virtue. You begin to practice the virtue of obedience. You begin to practice the virtue of patience. Above all, the mother of all virtue, the virtue of humility. Oh, Mary most humble. You begin to learn humility. You begin to learn humility. Of all the virtue, there's only one Jesus said we should learn from him. And that is the virtue of humility. He said, come unto me, all you who are labor and heavily laden, I will give you rest. You will learn from me that I am meek and humble of heart. You will learn from me, from me, that I am meek and humble of heart. And so when you begin to have devotion to Mary, I tell you, you will practice virtue. The virtue of obedience. Through obedience, Mary cooperated with the Trinity with the God, with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit for the redemption of humanity. Through obedience, let thy will be done. Mary cooperated. Mary followed suit and fulfilled the will of the Blessed Trinity. Amen. And so, you will practice virtue. You will practice the virtue of humility. You will practice the virtue of patience. You will practice the virtue of perseverance. Yes. See, true devotion to Mary. And the fifth point, which uh, we looked at, that was the last point, point where we stopped. And we said, it will weaken the grip of carnality within you. Our world is a carnal world. And scripture says, to be carnally minded is death. To be carnally minded is death. And to be spiritually minded is life. To be carnally minded, to be carnally minded, to be so eaten up by the things of this world, so carnal, not spiritual, is a grip on us. It's a grip on our flesh. But you see, through devotion to Mary, you will be weakening the grip of carnality. The grip of carnality. So carnal, so immoral. This grip will begin to fall from you. Your, your taste will, will change. Your desire will change. And sooner or later, people begin to notice it. You that used to like clubbing, you don't have taste for clubbing anymore. You that, that was an addicted smoker, you, you don't have the appetite for smoking anymore. You that used to be very um, loquacious in talking and you, no reserve in talking, no custody of the mouth in talking, See, you are now reserved in your words. Your words is now being seasoned because of the many Hail Mary and Jesus, Jesus you have been pronouncing through the Most Holy Rosary. You are, you are purified. Your words are purified. Your thoughts are purified. You can only get all these things when you have true devotion to Mary. The grip of carnality will fall. The hold of carnality. Desire for worldly pleasure. Desire for worldly allurement. Desire for worldly thing. It will begin to fall. It will begin to fall. Worldly way of talking. 
worldly way of dressing, worldly way of doing things. Vanity will give the vanity will begin to give way to eternity. You will see yourself beginning to invest in eternity instead of vanity. Why? Because you are having a contact with the supernatural. And you can only get that if you are a good, if you devote yourself, if you have good devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So these are the five points we looked at yesterday. So today we are going to look at some other points again. We are going to look at some other points again. The first point we are going to look at here is that when you have true devotion to Mary and you are constant in it, what will happen? It will make you a person of prayer. All the devotion you have with Mary is all, all, all of them are prayerful. All of them are prayerful devotion. It will make you a person of prayer. It will make you a person of prayer. What, are, what is the sixth point? What is the sixth point? The sixth point is that when you begin to have true devotion to Mary, it will make you a prayerful person. Because any time you come before the presence of Mary in for your devotion is prayer. So the prayer you are consistent about will become a habit. You see? Will become a habit. Before you know it, you are already a prayerful person. For example, if you follow us daily, online about the rosary we pray you are already a prayerful person you are you are already somebody that is giving great thought to your spiritual life so it will make you a person of prayer a person of prayer true devotion to me will make you a person of prayer because all that you will be doing with the blessed virgin mary's prayer is prayer is prayer before you know it you're a person of prayer for those of us who prayed our rosary four times today, you are already a person of prayer. Those who prayed five times today, you are a person of prayer. Those who prayed their rosary twice today, yes, you are a person of prayer. For you to be able to devote time, for you to be able to devote time and attend to the to your rosary, it shows that you are you you have thought for spiritual things, because the rosary is very spiritual. The rosary is very spiritual. So if you have thought for the rosary at all and you set out time to pray the rosary, it is because you are a spiritual person. And such person, you grow in your prayer life. So the sixth point is that true devotion to Mary will make you a person of prayer. A prayerless life is a life that is open for the devil to pray upon. A prayerless life, a prayerless life is a life that is so vulnerable for the devil to pray upon. The devil will pray upon you. The devil will claw upon you. The devil will mess your destiny up. The devil will mess your dream dream up. The devil will mess up. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But prayer will kill its activities. Prayer pushes the devil, the devil away from you. The rosary is a weapon. Padre Pio called the rosary a weapon. So, if you are devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary through the prayer of the rosary and other Marian devotion, what are you doing? You are establishing yourself as a prayerful person. A person of prayer. A person of prayer. A person of prayer. Your prayerful life will be enhanced. Your prayerful life will come alive. Do you know that many people are not prayerful? See, you see, there are a lot of people, they are very good at other things, but they are not good at prayer. They are very good at entertainment. A lot of people know the name, the names of football in the English Premiership. A lot of people know the names of just concluded housemates in Big Brother Niger. You know all their names. You don't miss it. You watch every day. You want to see who, who, who is who in Big Brother. In the midst of their carnality, you don't care. In the midst of their sexual perversity or perverseness, you don't care. In the midst of their nudity, in the national TV, you don't care. 
you are so happy watching because your heart is still giving the give it to carnality. So the rosary will help you if you are devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Carnality will drop because light cannot embrace darkness. Carnality will give way. The grip of carnality will drop from you. In the midst of the immoral pervasion of such program, you don't care. You watch, the, you know their name. Housemates come and they, they have sex. They have sex. You don't care. You don't care. You watch everything. Some people wait till in the, mid, the middle of the night to watch all these things. You don't care. See? You don't care. But you see, it is because your heart is still giving to carnality. That's why you are so comfortable in watching such programs. You are so comfortable in watching nudity. Obvious nudity. What does not represent the virtue that is found in the Blessed Virgin Mary. Nudity is never there. She is called Virgin Most Pure. Virgin Most Pure. Nudity is not there. The womb of Mary, so holy that Jesus had to take his flesh from that womb. And you, the daughter of Mary, the daughter of Mary, you are so happy watching such a program it is because carnality is still in you the, you see the grip is still holding you that is just the truth carnality is still holding you but you see when you begin to when you begin to have true devotion to Mary I tell you I tell you hear me I tell you your taste for carnality will go your taste for carnality will die. They will tell you to vote for this housemate and vote for this housemate and you begin to use your money to sponsor carnality. You begin to use your money to, to vote for people you don't know. Sponsoring nudity indirectly. But you don't know. It is because Carnality is still rooted in you. I'm telling you now, the cure, the cure is to have a true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Because carnality is not part of our mother Mary. Carnality is not in her litany. Brother, she is the virgin most pure, virgin most chaste, virgin most renowned, virgin most powerful, mother most amiable, mother most admirable. These are her virtues that have become the litany. These are, these are virtues. So please, we have to look at this thing very well. So that's why you must have true devotion. Because true devotion will make carnality to die. Your taste, moral perverse, perverse, perverseness will die. Moral decadence we die. You see, it doesn't just come one day. It is when you begin to have true devotion, true devotion, true devotion, true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so, what is that point? That the, the sixth point is that it will make you a prayerful person. A prayerful person. A prayerful person. Oh goodness. It will make you to have a prayerful person. So you have to do your best to have true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. When you have true devotion, I tell you, it will make you a prayerful person. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To make you a prayerful person. Thank you, Jesus. Such program will not entice you. Such program will not... See, many of us, we know... I don't, I said, what did you gain in this program? How many years do you think you are going to live on earth? Where you are supposed to gather grace and gather virtues. Where you are supposed to store up treasures 
for the life that is awaiting you. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. You are wasting, you are wasting your time. No, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. A lot of us boys, men, we know the name of football players. We know how much they earn. We know how much they earn every week or every month. But we don't have time to pray. Oh, what a word. What a word. Yeah, what a word. What a word. So, I'm encouraging all of us. You must have true devotion to Mary. So, the sixth point is, it will make you a person of prayer. Amen. A person of prayer. A person of prayer. The seventh point is that the seventh point true devotion to Mary true devotion to Mary will lead to your embrace of detachment. Hallelujah. Just a moment please. Embrace of detachment. Thank you. The seventh point, it will lead to your um, embrace of detachment. Many of us are so attached to the things of the world. You are so attached to your car. You are so attached to your house. You are so attached to your hair. You are so attached to so many things. You are so attached. You are so attached to your job. You are so attached. Listen to me. You are not of this world. You cannot be attached to these things. They are made for our use and not to take over us. Many of us are so attached. No detachment at all. No. The only person we are called to be attached to is Jesus. Any other thing that is taking our heart from Jesus puts us in trouble. Any other thing that is taking our hearts away from Jesus puts us in trouble. We are only called to be attached to Jesus. We are only called to be attached to God. We are only called to be attached to matters of eternity. Any other thing that is taking our hearts away puts us in trouble. And so, through devotion to Mary, we help you to embrace the spirit of detachment. Mary was so detached. Mary loved Jesus. The heart of Mary and Jesus hypostatically glue and united together. But Mary let Jesus go. He didn't, she didn't hold Jesus by. Jesus went out. Jesus preached from place to place. Ministry work. Jesus was not heard. In the midst of that, Mary allowed Jesus to be able to reach out to, in, to people in, in Capernaum, to reach out to people everywhere, in Galilee, everywhere. We must learn to be detached. Detached from money, the money you think you have. No. Anything we are, any, the things we have in this world, they are temporal. But when they begin to take our hearts away from God, they put us in trouble. So, detachment is a virtue that we must pursue. Detachment is a virtue. Detachment is a virtue that we must pursue. What is it that you have? Is it taking your, your life? Is it taking your attention? So that you don't even have time to pray. You that used to be very prayerful before, because you now have a big screen, television screen in your house now, is taking your attention away from prayer. Whatever it is that is taking your attention away from God, you need to detach. So through devotion to Mary, we enable you to embrace detachment. Detachment. You will be detached. It will enable you to embrace true detachment. 
you will be detached from the things of this world. They are only here for our use. Hallelujah. You can see when Jesus died, when Jesus died, there was no property to share. He was so detached. He who owns everything. He said in, in our reflection of the teaching of the cross, he said, possessing nothing, I own all. I own my father's love. Possessing nothing, I own all. Jesus owned everything, but yet he was not attached to them. He was never attached to them. So you too, you must try. You see, true devotion to Mary is what will help you. True devotion to Mary is what will help you. Never to be attached. Never to be attached. Some of us, we are so attached to our, our properties, attached to our cars. Oh, you are so attached. My dear, we don't go with car when the time comes. We don't go with our money when the time comes. We don't go with our property when the time comes. We don't go with our clothes when the time comes. We don't go with our expensive materials when the time comes. We must learn how to detach ourselves. Let not this thing take over our hearts. Jesus is the only one who can take over our hearts. Our heart must be internally, internally married to Jesus and not any other thing. Because this thing that we see around, they are passing away. They are passing away. On Christ, the solid drop we stand. All other ground are sinking sand. All other ground, all other ground are all sinking sand. On Christ alone, the solid rock, we must stand. So, Jesus should be the one that will take over our hearts, not our things, our materials. And so, through devotion to Mary, we help you to embrace detachment. Mary was detached. Jesus was detached. We must be detached. Oh, we must be detached. We must be detached. It's a virtue. It's a virtue. Hallelujah. That is the uh, seventh point. That is the seventh point. Yeah, it's good we strongly emphasize detachment because a lot of people, they are really finding it difficult to detach from things. You cannot give out clothes because you are too attached to them. And this clothes you cannot give out. You, are yet, you have not worn these clothes for, for a whole year. The clothes you did not wear for a whole year. You, you don't need the clothes again anymore. But you cannot give them out because you are so detached. You, you are so attached to it. You have, you, have, you have shoes in your closet. Shoes, many shoes. You can't give them out. Why? Because you are so attached to them. You are attached to these things. You are so attached. That's why you cannot give them out. But you see, no one will take when we go home, give them out. Giving them out by yourself is always better because the person you give them to will bless you, we appreciate you. But when people come to give them out later, when you are gone, nobody will tell you thank you. Oh, what a sad life. What an irony. Nobody will tell you thank you. They will see it as their inheritance. But when you give them out now, People will bless you. You will uh, make treasures for yourself in heaven. People will appreciate you. But if, because you are so attached to them, that's why you can see their clothes of five years, you still have them. Five years clothes you bought five years ago, you still have them till now. You cannot give them out. And yet people are need clothes. They are, they are naked people everywhere. There are people with, that are poverty stricken everywhere. But you see, you cannot give them because you are so attached. No. The virtue of detachment. Mary will teach you the virtue of detachment. And detachment, hear me, is a strong virtue. And true devotion to Mary is what we guarantee that. When you have five, you can give out one. When you have, you know, and others don't have, you can give. Detachment 
is a strong virtue. We are called to detach and never to be attached to the material things that we happen to meet in this world. Amen. And the uh, eighth point, the eighth point is that devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary leaves you with his unfailing promises. I, uh, I like this one. Unfailing promises. For example, uh, the rosary has its promises, as in the 12, 15 promises of the of the Blessed Virgin Mary to those who we always pray or and recite the rosary. You see, we have the promises, the promises. So what is this point saying? The eight points, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary leaves you with its unfailing promises. So if you are devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary now through the rosary, you are going to reap the blessing, the promises of the rosary. And what are the promises of the rosary? Number one, to all those who shall recite my rosary devoutly, I promise my special protection and very great graces. Hallelujah. That is the first, uh, the first promise of the Blessed Virgin Mary to those who pray the rosary. To all those who pray the rosary, devoutly, 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 Mary said, I, I promise a special protection and a very great grace. Wow. So, true devotion to Mary will leave you with these promises. But if you are not devoted, you, how can you accept this kind of promise? The second promise is, those who shall persevere in the prayer recitation of my rosary, hey, shall receive some signal grace. Signal grace. It is a real privilege to receive signal grace, I tell you. Number three, the rosary shall be a very powerful armor against hell. This rosary now, look at it here, shall be a very powerful armor against hell. It will destroy vice, the vice of pride, the vice of immorality, the whatever vice out there. Look at the promise that is there, the third promise of those who pray the rosary. It will, dis it will destroy vice, deliver from sin, and dispel heresy. What a promise. Look at it here. What a promise. Fifteen promises of to those who pray the rosary. The third one is very strong. The rosary shall be a very powerful armor against hell. Against hell. That is why many people don't pray the rosary. Because hell is let loose against them. Because this rosary you pray is a, is a, is a powerful armor against hell. Hell knows the implication of you praying the rosary. And so, as soon as you take the rosary, you doze off. As soon as you take the rosary, you are, you are, you are tired. As soon as you take the rosary, you cannot pray. As soon as you take the rosary, you, 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 are, just, you are just tired. But when you drop the rosary, you are alive. When you drop the rosary, you are strong. When you drop the rosary, you can watch two hours movie. Stretch without stop. You can watch three hours. You can watch series. But when you take the rosary 15 minutes, you are tired. It is hell that is fighting you, I tell you. It is hell that is fighting you. Because hell itself knows so well that the rosary in our hand is a powerful armor. And so, it will destroy vice, deliver from sin, and dispel heresy. What a promise. What a promise. What a promise. Hallelujah. Look at the fourth, look at the fourth uh, promise. The fourth promise. The rosary will make virtue and good works. I told you before, if you have devotion to Mary, you will practice virtue. Look at it here now. He said it will make virtues and good works to flourish. Virtue will flourish. Good works will flourish. And we obtain for souls the most abundant divine mercies. It will substitute in heart love of God for love of the world. I told you. Look at it here now. Look at it here. Love of God will take over love of the world. Carnality will give way to, to, to a to holy life. 
Vanity will give way to, to eternity. Look at it here. Love of God will, will, will take over from love of the world. And will leave them to the desire of heavenly and eternal things. How many souls shall sanctify themselves by this means? By the means of your devotion to Mary, you sanctify yourself. You sanctify yourself. The reason why I said, see, you, you, um, it will make you, a, it will make you a prayerful person. You are, you sanctify yourself. You are sanctified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Number five, promise. Those who trust themselves to me through the rosary shall not perish in hell. Hallelujah. Those who trust themselves to me, those who trust themselves to me through the rosary, through the rosary shall never perish in hell. Shall never perish in hell. That is the fifth promise. So, all together, we have 15 promises of the most holy rosary that our lady gave to blessed Alan de la Roque and it has become a universal promise and especially for those who pray their rosary. So, when you have devotion to Mary, what are you doing? It will leave you with a promise, unfailing promises based on the most holy rosary. I just read some to you now. There are promises when you pray the rosary because the rosary is a devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So it will lead you with his promises. It enlists you into the promises. It enlists you. Oh goodness. It enlists you. Look at what we look at look at what I what I was just reading just now. Great and powerful promises on those who pray the rosary. And the last point I have for today, when you pray the rosary, when, I mean when you have devotion to Mary, I like the last point. When you have devotion to Mary, it will lead to your understanding of the value of sacrifice, the life of sacrifice. Hallelujah. It will lead to your understanding of the life of sacrifice. Somebody said to me today, Father Fred, I appreciate your sacrifice every day online and you talk for more than one hour. How do you do this sacrifice? Listen. I love this sacrifice because somebody out there is being blessed. Somebody out there is being enriched. The faith of somebody is being lifted. The faith of somebody is being enhanced. The Catholic faith of somebody is being taken seriously. It takes a sacrifice to bring people to that realm. And so, when you are devoted to Mary, one thing you will come to value is sacrifice. Mary sacrificed for Jesus. Mary sacrificed for the Blessed Trinity. Mary sacrificed her life. Oh, she sacrificed. When Herod was coming, Mary carried Jesus with Joseph. They ran away. Sacrifice. What a journey. What a journey. When Jesus was missing, sacrifice of looking, searching until they found him. You will value sacrifice. You will value sacrifice. True devotion to Mary will make you value sacrifice. We make you value sacrifice. The saints, we are people of sacrifices. The saints that we venerate today, we are all people of great sacrifices. You will, will begin to value sacrifice. I'm telling you now, it is true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. So I'm encouraging all of us, I'm encouraging you, you must you know, have this true devotion, you must push for it, you must push for it, you must push for it and I tell you, you will be so blessed, you see, you will be so blessed when you have true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and one major devotion that is well acclaimed by the church is the devotion to the Most Holy Rosary majority of the popes Today, who are saints, who are blessed, they are all devoted to the rosary. Great saints that we venerate today, they are devoted to the rosary. So the rosary is one major devotion that you can say, I have a devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Why? How? Because you are a faithful uh, person 
do is devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary through the Rosary. So I will encourage you. Amen. Now, shortly before we go, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tomorrow is 7th of October, and the 7th of October is uh, Our Lady of the Rosary. 7th is Our Lady of the Rosary. So tomorrow is all about Rosary, 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 and Rosary. And so let me tell you the time I will be coming online by the grace of God. I will come online. I will come online um, very early hour of the morning Nigerian time, around uh, 5 o'clock, to pray the rosary. And that would be by, that would be uh, 11 o'clock in Texas. Maybe that would be 12 o'clock in Atlanta, and so on and so forth. I will come online and pray the rosary 5 a.m. in the morning. I pray the rosary, you know, thereabouts. Then, um, 11 o'clock Nigerian time, 11 o'clock, which is um, 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the US. I will come online again. I will pray the rosary. I will end that uh, rosary prayer. I will end it with the Angelus by 12 o'clock. Then I will go to other platform, by the PO platform, CIP, our ministry platform. I'll pray the rosary there. Then on my Facebook page, I'll pray. It's, tomorrow is all about rosary. And when we come together in the evening tomorrow, it's going to be the 20 uh, decades of the rosary. We are going to pray together. So, um, pray your rosary before you come online. Uh, if you can wake up early in the morning, fine. If you meet me online, pray with me. You will be so blessed and the favor of God will not depart from you. For the Alfred loves you dearly. I tell you, I love you dearly and I'm praying for you. Keep following me as we progress in our October devotion. I pray that God will give us the grace to finish well, to finish with testimony, to finish with blessings, to finish with results, to finish with favor. And I pray that God will the most holy rosary we sustain you and grant you peace of heart and of mind and body. Amen. I will see you again uh, various times I just announced tomorrow early hours of the morning I will be online in the afternoon by 11 o'clock I will be online various platforms will be online then 8 o'clock our usual time we will pray the 20 decades. Tomorrow it's all about the rosary, the rosary, and the rosary. I will see you tomorrow. Stay blessed. Father Alfred loves you and is praying for you. God bless you.